Admiralty ENP Reader provides viewing of ENPs present on the PC. The Bookshelf page provides a tiled view of the ENPs, categorised into three tiles, All Publications, Favourites and Recent. Click on the All Publications tile to expand it. A list of tiles is displayed with each tile representing an ENP. At the top of the list of tiles are the ENPs which have a valid permit, followed by ENPs which exist in the product catalogue and have not yet been purchased. Tiles with a permit are differentiated by a darker navy blue background colour. They also have a favourite star and an expander triangle. Additionally, they can be clicked on when the mouse is moved over the tile and the tile colour will change to light blue, indicating that the tile is clickable. Click on an ENP tile you have purchased. The View Book page is then displayed. Each open ENP is displayed in a tab within the View Book docking container. These tabs can be left-clicked and moved around to allow for different view configurations. Two books can be opened side by side, or in the case of multiple monitors, books can be dragged onto the second monitor. The ENP is shown with bookmarks displayed in the left-hand column, the ENP itself in the centre column and notices to mariners in the right-hand column. The light blue splitter dividing these columns and also the splitter to the right of the navigation bar can be left-clicked and dragged to resize the columns. The bookmarks within the ENP are displayed in a scrollable tree view. These can be expanded and collapsed by clicking on the expander arrows. Hovering the mouse over the bookmark text will change the background colour to light blue indicating that it is clickable. Clicking a bookmark will navigate the ENP to the page containing the bookmark. The ENP book can be navigated using the scroll bar to the right, by using the keyboard arrows, or by using the mouse scroll wheel. Along the top of each tab container is the toolbar for the ENP. Hovering over each of the toolbar buttons will display a tool tip describing the button functionality. The toolbar supports navigation through the book using the up and down arrows and by typing the page label into the Go To Page text box and pressing the return key. If notices to mariners have been issued for the ENP, they will be shown in the right-hand column. They are displayed in a scrollable list and can be collapsed and expanded using the expander arrow. Hovering the mouse over the Notice to Mariner title will change the background colour to light blue, indicating that it is clickable. Click on the title. The main book view will navigate to the page containing the first occurrence of Notice to Mariner. A highlight border will be displayed around both the Notice to Mariner and the book view. The text, NMs have been published for this page, will be displayed at the top of the page. If an addendum exists for a Notice to Mariner, a button titled Open Addendum is displayed at the bottom right corner. Click this button to open the addendum. This will display in its own tab container. The toolbar has a combo box which allows for different zoom and fit to page attributes to be applied. To the right of the zoom combo box are the fit visible, fit width and fit height buttons. The toolbar has rotate left and rotate right buttons to allow the current page to be rotated. This is particularly useful for viewing charts or tables which are displayed in landscape page orientation. The book view supports single or double page views. The toolbar contains two toggle buttons to switch between single page and double page views.
The camera toolbar button will open the page that you are looking at in a PDF format. This may take a few seconds to generate. The page will be shown with a watermark and will include the ENP number and the vessel name. If any NMs have been applied to the current page, these will also be generated on a separate page, as well as a third page if an addendum has been applied. Clicking the Save button will open a pop-up window, and you will be able to select a location to save the snapshot to. Click OK to continue. This can be later used to copy and paste into passage plans. If you have a printer connected to your PC, selecting the Print button will send the pages to your printer. Clicking the blue arrow will return you to the View Book page. The toolbar has a Search Book text box. Type the search term into this and press the Return key on the keyboard or click on the Search Current Page button immediately to the right of the text box. This will search through the current page and apply a blue highlight to any matches of the search term. Click on the Search Previous or Search Next toolbar buttons to search through the book for the next occurrence of the search term. The book will navigate to the next page containing the search term with the matches highlighted. If no more occurrences of the search term are found, a message box is displayed. If the width of the tab container is insufficient to display all of the toolbar buttons, the expander arrow to the right of the toolbar will be enabled. Click on this and the remaining toolbar buttons will be displayed in a pop-up.